Hi everybody, uh, this is Chef Frank at uh, North Bend High School Culinary Arts. Me today, um, just going to continue on from a previous video, or two previous videos actually. Um, I've got uh, some uh, black rockfish and um, some ling cod. I'm going to do maybe a dish or two with those. And, um, and use up some of our bacon that, uh, that we just cured over the last week or so. So where do we start? Um, first off, of course, you're going to have to do your prep work, mise en place, getting everything in place. Got my cutting board, got my knives. Um, my hands are all clean. Got my bowls here. And remember, the name of the game is to kind of get everything ready, but cleaning as you go. So I have a, a cloth here that I can use uh, to wipe down as I need it. And um, let's get going with, uh, with some of the prep. Now, I've gone through the, the peeling and um, dicing of an onion before, but I always like just to kind of keep refreshing on that because it's a, it's a little tricky one to get right the first couple of times, but then uh, practice and you'll get, run, you'll get it right. So as you can see, I am um, just peeling this into a, um, into a bowl, so I'm not making a big mess. I'm not peeling into my garbage can and um, just trying to keep things just uh, nice for myself because I have to clean up too. Just using that knife just to grab the, the skin. Got a little bit here. And also remember you don't want to cut too much off because you're buying the onion by the pound, okay? And throwing it in the garbage is not a good idea or in your compost. So got my onion here. Um, I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to cut this guy in half. Now the root, so onions growing in the ground like this. This is the root end here. I'm going to put that away from me. And then using a sharp knife, I want to make some cuts. These cuts do not go all the way through the onion. They do go to the bottom, but not all the way to the back of the onion uh, so that the onion won't kind of stay together. We're going to put a few cuts this way. And there we go. Take my chef's knife or my chopping knife, and I'm just going to slice down. Remember, key to not crying or not crying too much is using a nice sharp knife. And I want this uh, onions to be reasonably um, fine. And so I might just run the knife through it again just to be on the safe side. Make sure I get a a nice dice, bringing it together on the board, keeping my board tidy at all times, and there we go. Into a bowl, and I got it down, and you see my bowl, my board is, is nice and tidy. Now, I've diced up some bacon. A little bit of garnish, and these guys here are capers. They're preserved in a vinegar, rather like a pickle. And they are the bud from the caper tree. And these give a beautiful flavor. But the flavor goes really well with onion. And then we'll add a little tiny bit of butter in there as well. I'm also going to use some olive oil. So we would have some salt, pepper, capers. They can be got anywhere. They can be a little bit spendy, but you only need a couple of them. You don't need that many. A little bacon, a little onion, onion or uh, lemon. And uh, we might as well go ahead and cut this one in half here. So we'll have it ready. And if we want to, we can grab another plate and we can just squeeze this guy. These are nice lemons. They're nice and juicy. Now, um, and this would be a good time now to take out any seeds that might pop out in there. Uh, you could also use, sometimes people like to use a fork, or you got a, um, an onion or a lemon squeezer, you can use that. But these were nice and soft uh, onions, so I want to just get out any of the seeds or the pips. We don't want that in our sauce. There we go. 
And we have our fish here. So this is a little um, nice portion of um, lingcod here. And I'm going to just gently flour. Not much. Okay, I just want a very light dusting. It's going to help with the color. It's also going to help um, get a nice uh, or seal on there, keep the juices in. Now, when I was training back in Ireland and stuff, of course, fish, you know, we're an island. We had lots and lots of fish. Some of the best fish, just freshest. Um, and I can remember all those old chefs and your training. We want to keep the flavor of the fish. We don't want to have it overtaken by other stuff. This is, is nice flavor and everything. So we want to bring out the flavor. And we do not want to over. Remember, don't overcook it. It's already dead. Don't kill it the second time. When you're adding um, your flour on here, you want to just do it nice and gently. And I'll just have just a little cookies bone there. Just pat it gently, get all that excess off. And this is going to be a get cooked um, straight away here. So I'm not going to leave this flour sitting on it for any length of time. If I do, it's just going to draw out some of the moisture. All right, guys. So we're over here at the, at the, uh, the stove. Um, got my saute pans on, and I'm preheating them. And I want to get them nice and hot. Um, you do not want to be cooking fish on a cold pan. You're just going to draw out those moisture, the moisture that's in there, and you'll end up with dry fish. Uh, one thing that I do like to do is to have, and if I can, just, if maybe you can see it here. I put everything onto a tray so that I have it all. I've got my fish, and I've got the ingredients that I'm going to use um, to make my so my uh, my dish. Um, all there, nice and handy. Okay. All right. So my pans are uh, getting nice and hot here. Uh, again, you don't want to be over overheated, but uh, they do just need to be good. Um, got them on full, and then I can turn them down. I also have my oven on. Uh, so I can hold the fish as uh, as things are, are progressing here. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil, just a nice nice little amount there. And my pans are just almost there. are just there. Of course, my hands are all washed and everything. And I'm going to start off with a little piece of the uh, link cod here. First off, I want to be able to. I want to put it down with the the part that you the, the side that you're going to present needs to be cooked first. Okay, so just nice and down, just like that. Take our black fish, black rockfish. And we're going to just do the same here. And we can turn this down a little bit if you like. I don't think it's going to get too hot. This one's OK. You can also just use your stove. So if your pan is getting over hot, move the, the pan. Get it away from the heat for a while. Take some of that heat out. You can bring it back on here again. So what I want to do now is I want to get a nice little color onto um, the fish. I want to be really careful that I don't overcook. Got a nice little um, spatula here that this will be really handy to to use with the fish. I'm getting a nice color developing there. Now don't be afraid to check. If your pan gets a little bit too dry, you can touch it with a little bit of olive oil. Just don't put too much on there. You're not deep frying or pan frying this fish. Okay, so 
another little bit on that side for that one. Okay, I think this is pretty pretty decent. So the the, pa the the presentation side are the plates that when you when you want to put it on the plate, and it's going to be the side opposite the, the um, where the skin was. So you can see this has, was where the skin was on this one. And I'm going to turn this down slightly. Again, I think I'll just move that pan over, let some of that heat come away from it. going to add just a tiny, tiny drop of, of olive oil to both pans there. Got a little bit of salt and a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. I have some in the flour as well at the beginning, just a little bit. I'll bring this back. Now fish cooks very fast. I think a lot of times people forget that and they really overcook it and they kill it as I said for the second time. So you want to be, you know, keeping an eye on it. And one handy thing to do is you've got your oven and you've got a tray. You can just lift it off, put on a tray. Go ahead and place that in the oven for just a few while we make the sauce here. Now into this one here, I'm going to add a little bit more of the olive oil. I'm going to watch that temperature there a little bit. Again, I'll just move it over. Watch the handles are not over your heat, by the way, if you do this. I'm going to take a little bit of onion. This will help to kind of chill it off and a little onion in this one too. They're very similar. Um, put a bit of our, our fresh bacon there that we cured ourselves. Some nice little pieces in there. Just cook that nice and gently. Don't. Uh, Get it scorched up. If you uh, start scorching those onions, you're going to end up having a. Um, it'll start to taste a little bitter. Okay, so be very careful. Now I'm going to add a little bit of butter into this one. So you guys know. Oh, and I've just put the capers in. I'll add a little butter in here. I'm kind of light butter. And into this one, just some of our lemon juice. Now, what would be nice if we had some white wine or something, we could give a little splash of white wine in there, reduce that down. So in a few years when you guys are finished in high school and stuff, and get out, then you could, uh, you know, use some wine and stuff like that. So again, watching my, my heat, okay? Using my stove. If it's gas, it's very easy. You can just turn it down. You get more control on it. But sometimes with electric, it's slower to, to cool down. Also, I've got some heavy base pans here, so they trap some heat. So moving them to a, a cooler spot can um, help regulate that temperature. And we'll just add, I think, a little bit more again. I do like the butter, the pepper, a tiny bit of salt. Be careful on the salt all the time especially in this one, because this one has the bacon in there and it's going to already have some salt. Okay. Again, we're just going to push that over. Got my little color in the butter. Let's turn that stove right up and get this one. Butter melted down. If you wanted to, I'm not going to make this uh, bacon too crispy, but you could 
uh, crisp up the bacon if you want to. But it's going to, to work there nicely. So we'll go ahead and we will check on our fish. And you can see our fish is just cooking nicely. Giving that uh, sauce just a nice little shake there. Let's check on the fish again. And it really just takes a few minutes. It's going to be dependent on the thickness of your fish um, and how you can tell. It's just to see if it if the starts to flake a little bit. I don't want to kind of ruin it too much, but I just lift it where it's. Um, and you can start to see a little. Let's sh see if I can show you there just started to kind of split a little bit and that's pretty close and the same here we can even just use and kind of look in and the fish will be um, will change color it will be kind of a, a white but it'll, it'll kind of hot, translucent in a way and then as it cooks it tends to change to more to this white here so you can kind of look in at the um, the thickest part and see if it's good and I think just um, another minute okay or two. Okay, guys, so uh, let's plate up the fish. The fish is just nicely cooked. Uh, we've got our sauces over here. And um, let me just grab them here. Just a little tip. So if you're doing it and the fish does, is not quite there and you have to cook a little bit more and your, your um, sauce kind of gets a bit too dry, uh, don't worry about it. You can put a new drop of water in there. Just a tiny, you know, a little bit to bring it back or get the flavor back. Or if it's a white wine, it'd be great. Or, um, you know, if it's a creamy sauce, then you can put a little bit more cream or whatever you have. But don't be afraid. Don't don't have your sauces too too thick and stodgy. Now let's see what do we got here. Uh, oh, <coughs> got a little bit of parmesan. I'm not sure if even this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I got some of this flaked here. I'm just going to add just a couple of little pieces I think into the sauce here and uh, those of you that know me I kind of just kind of play around with food I just I like trying things see if it works if it does great if it doesn't hey I just learned something now another spatula and let's uh, let's lift this fish up here Try to get a little bit warm Add that there. Take my pieces of um, bling cod here. And it's not good if you can kind of have a little bit of height. Okay, don't have everything flat if you can help it. And then we have our sauce here for our ling, which is going to be this caper sauce. Don't again, don't coat the whole fish with it, just a little bit. Blenavis is what this is traditionally known as. Um, and then I can uh, take maybe a little bit of, just a little bit of fennel, had it out in our garden, uh, just to kind of brighten it up there a bit. And then we have this one here. So let's see how this one goes together. Tap it a little bit, and I have one of these borage flowers. Now you could put a little bit of lemon on it, but uh, just always remember going back in Rockwell, and we had uh, I think it was Chef McCann who used to kill us if we uh, added too much lemon. If he said, "Hey, there's lemon in the sauce. There's no need to put lemon or slice of lemon on there." So maybe just a little borage flower to give a little color. So we have our two dishes here. And, uh, you know, just have fun. Remember, the main things about doing uh, fish and stuff is do not overcook it. Um, keep the, the, your, your heat as gentle. And that goes for being on the grill, too. Um, overcooking ends up with dry fish. And then the flavor and stuff is gone. Flavor, uh, fish is expensive, so look after it. And, uh, and y you'll be rewarded.
to do that. Um, okay, so let me see if I can get a, a close-up uh, picture for you here. Thank you for watching another video from uh, North Bend High School, and I'm Chef Frank Murphy. Hope you enjoy this video. If um, if you're watching on YouTube, please remember to uh, just subscribe to our channel and um, keep cooking. And remember, with the fish, don't overcook it. Treat it with respect. And you're going to get the best out of it. So thank you very much, this is Chef Frank Murphy. Um, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go and get a fork, I think, and a knife. I'm going to cut into these and uh, I'll tell you what, I, what, uh, what it tastes like. Nothing in here? And just returning the butcher knife I borrowed? Oh, what's this? Jack? happen again. I'm going to have to lock my door or something because this is just going a little bit too far. All right, guys. Um, I guess I don't, try, I don't get to taste it. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.